Hello everybody, I'm Krishna Vasudevan, a technical marketing engineer at Infoblox. Today, we are here to talk about the Infoblox IPAM driver for OpenStack. OpenStack is a private cloud solution that enables centralized management of large pools of compute, storage and networking resources throughout a data center. Being open source and highly modular, OpenStack gives you a platform to build your own vendor agnostic data center. To enable this, major tech companies have custom plugins written to support their hardware. OpenStack comprises of multiple components, each having their own functionality. Every component can work independent of each other, hence enabling a plug-and-play approach. Each component has a code name for its project. The core cloud computing services include compute, networking, storage, identity, and image services. There are 13 optional projects like Heat for orchestration and Celometer for measuring metrics that can be bundled together to create unique deployable clouds. Where does Infoblox fit in? It provides a centralized and granular view of all IPAM, DNS, and DHCP data across all your environments. It has the ability to expose cloud-specific data. It gives you visibility into the OpenStack network operations and hence enables auditing. You can also leverage other key features offered by Infoblox like reporting, subscriber services, and response policy zones. In an OpenStack environment, you can leverage the Cloud Network Automation License and the Infoblox IPAM driver plugin. The Cloud Network Automation is a license that is enabled on the Gridmaster. It enables a Cloud tab in the NIOS UI to manage DDI information organized by tenant, network, and virtual machine for cloud objects. Additionally, it also provides new cloud widgets for monitoring IP usage and network utilization for cloud networks. The IPAM driver plugin provides a dynamic integration of the components inside the OpenStack environment. The Infoblox IPAM driver plugin enables automatic creation of DNS and DHCP fixed address records when new host instances are created. Automatic reclamation of IP addresses and DNS names from decommissioned instances. A single centralized view of all IPAM, DNS and DHCP data for the OpenStack environment along with other environments. Full visibility into IP addresses, DNS and DHCP record creation or deletion and DHCP lease history for auditing, compliance tracking and reporting ability to use Infoblox grid members to serve DNS and DHCP services to virtual machines. In conjunction with network views, it also supports multi-tenancy. The Infoblox driver is built as a plugin for the Neutron services. Let us first examine the existing OpenStack environment. From the Horizon dashboard, you can see that a project called Tenant A has been pre-created. There are two networks that have already been created as part of this demo, a self-service or internal network in Tenant A and a provider or external network in the admin project. An instance has been pre-created within Tenant A project and a floating IP has been associated with it. Also, you can see that the Infoblox IPAM agent is up and running. Let us now look at the Infoblox grid. Every active project in OpenStack has a corresponding network view automatically created for it. Click into the Tenant A network view to see the objects created within them. In the IPAM tab, you can see a network corresponding to the self-service or internal network created in Tenant A in OpenStack. Clicking into the network, you can see that the IP address corresponding to instance A in OpenStack is reserved. In the DNS tab, you can see that a corresponding zone has been created. 
Similarly, in the admin network view, you can see a network corresponding to the provider network in admin project in OpenStack. In the DNS tab, you can see that a zone corresponding to the external network is created. Clicking into the zone, you can see an entry corresponding to the floating IP of instance A in OpenStack. The creation of these network objects is driven by the extensible attributes defined on the grid. Let us look at the extensible attributes. There are multiple EAs that are created as part of the installation of the plugin. As part of this demo, we will concentrate on a few of them. The default domain name pattern determines the name of the authoritative zone created for a self-service network. The default host name pattern determines the DNS name of an instance created on the self-service network. This will be created within the zone mentioned above. The default network view scope determines the usage of network views. In this demo, specifying it as tenant indicates that a new network view is created for every active project in OpenStack. This enables multi-tenancy and overlapping networks. DHCP support determines if the DHCP support needs to be provided by the grid. DNS support determines if the DNS support needs to be provided by the grid. Enabling this creates the zones and records that we saw earlier. External domain name pattern determines the name of the authoritative zone created for provider network. External host name pattern determines the DNS name of an instance created on the provider network or an instance when attached with a floating IP. This will be created within the zone mentioned above. Additionally, there is one EA defined on both the members. The is cloud member EA determines if this grid member can be used as part of the OpenStack integration. Let us now look at the Infoblox IPAM driver in action. The Infoblox IPAM plugin leverages the network views to have networks with the same subnet across tenants. This demo showcases this by creating another tenant and creating an overlapping network within that tenant. First, create a project tenant B and add the admin user to it. Next, switch to the project tenant B. Now create an internal network. This network will have the same subnet as the one in tenant A. In the InfoBlock grid, a new tenant is created for the tenant B project along with the network. Also, a DNS zone that corresponds to this internal network is created. Now, let's create a router that links the internal network in tenant B and the previously created external network. To allow the pinging of new instances, add certain rules in the security group. Add the allow all ICMP rule for both egress and ingress. Now we are all set to launch a new instance. Specify a name for this instance. We will be creating an instance out of a small Cirrus image. Select the newly created network and launch the instance. Once launched, associate a floating IP to it.
In the InfoBlox grid, you can see that a DNS entry is created in the zone external.com in the admin network view. Using the floating IP address, you can communicate between the instances across the tenants. Launch the console of the newly created instance. Enter the login credentials. To verify if this instance can reach the instance in tenant A, ping the floating IP of the instance. Since the DNS name server has been configured to the grid master, the DNS resolution of the external world is taken care of by it. First, verify if the DNS name server is pointing to the grid master. Next, Verify if the instance can reach the external world and the DNS resolution is successful by pinging google.com. The Cloud Network Automation License allows you to manage all the DDI information organized by tenant, network and virtual machine for cloud objects in the NIOS UI in the Cloud tab. Here, you can see the list of all the tenants you created on OpenStack the associated network views and network views. To see tenant specific details, click into tenant A. You can get a list of all the networks created in tenant A. Navigate to the Networks tab in the Cloud tab to see all the networks created from OpenStack. Similarly, clicking on the VMs tab, you can get a list of all the instances hosted on OpenStack. To see the cloud-related widgets, navigate to the dashboard. In the Add Content option, you can click on the cloud icon to filter all the cloud widgets. Drag and drop the cloud statistics widget onto the dashboard. It gives data about all the tenants in your OpenStack environment. It also gives you an option to see tenant-specific data. The IPv4 Networks Over Threshold widget has an option to view cloud networks only. This also gives you an option to view networks from a specific tenant. The Infoblox IPAM driver along with the Cloud Network Automation License provides you a customizable, holistic and granular view of your OpenStack environment. Thank you for watching this video.